eye contact. Um, I think that in small communities, uh, you get a whole lot of eye contact. These are, these are your neighbors. Uh, they're the people you work with. They're people you work for. Um, you buy groceries from that guy. He buys clothing from you. Um, it's and it's it's a reminder that anytime you're dealing with uh, with Joe or Jane, um, you're going to be seeing Joe and Jane for years. Uh, You'll eventually be getting eye contact and waving at their uh, kids' pickup as their uh, their kids go to school. Um, but in a, in a larger town, uh, I don't know any of these people I'm around. And uh, um, a year from now, none of these people might live here anymore. Um, so eye contact is something that uh, you get you get and give uh, to acknowledge, but it's uh, more along, more along the lines of. Uh, it's a brief acknowledgement. Um, and in, in certain areas, uh, like going through downtown, I would be, it would be really rare to give eye contact and a smile, uh, even though this is a real friendly city. Um, so why don't, uh, why don't you give a lot of eye contact? And uh, which I also want to bring up uh, crying. Um, like in a crowded environment, a lot of eye contact, uh, or, or a lack of eye contact, is uh, is an effort to give someone privacy. And you know, they say like you know, you never know what's going on for somebody. Um, like that's that's one of the, the the fastest ways to figure out is uh, is when you look into someone's eyes. Like I've had, I, I I was walking along, and someone said hey to me, and I look up, and he's like, Are you just mad at everybody. Because um, I was looking, I was walking along, looking at my feet, and I, but I was angry. And the whole reason I was walking along and looking at my feet uh, is because I knew I was angry. I was furious, and I wanted to get to where I was going, and I didn't want to like be looking up at everybody with this angry, angry look on my face. Um, and just yesterday, I walked up to deal with somebody, and uh, they were crying, and uh, so I. I uh, I very obviously avoided giving them any kind of eye contact or looking at their face at all. I, 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 I helped them get what they wanted and at no point in time did I look at their face again after my, after my initial catch of them uh, seeing that they were crying. And uh, Which leads me to the other thing, like, so I, I, work in a, uh, I work in a pretty large community and uh, I work with people like I would call, actually I would call my work actually a village. So I, I'm going to be working with, I've worked with these people, uh, for a lot of them, um, for five or six years. And I expect if I'm still there five or six years from now, I'll be working still with the vast majority of them. And uh, I don't give uh, a lot of eye contact to my coworkers unless, uh, unless I'm addressed, unless they, see hap they seem happy and then they seem responsive to what I'm saying. And then they get more and more eye contact. Uh, same thing with actually a lot of the customers that I deal with. Um, and it's the emotional thing is the reason why. I see, I often see uh, uh, several times a week uh, some of my coworkers crying. And uh, some of the coworkers I work with are really social and much more interactive uh, than with other people. And uh, I mentioned this to them. I'm like, how often, how many times a week do you see um, a coworker cry? And uh, they said, I w they said it, it wouldn't be uncommon to see uh, one every single day. And actually, two people said that. Um, but everyone said, oh yeah, I, it's I, I notice it. Uh, I notice it quite often. Um, and there's a reason for that. We don't we don't live in a small little town where everyone keeps in mind the fact that like, well, I'm going to see this person tomorrow. Our kids are going to play together. Um, uh, this person will be cashing my check at the bank, and uh, then they're going to be coming. Uh, you know, I'm going to be going to their store. They're going to be coming to my store. Uh, we'll be sitting down in the same uh, set of restaurants. Um, you know, having coffee at the same place. Um, you are more. You're more careful, and uh, you're more uh, focused on uh, our social contract. But here, like people, 
and a big city will be flowing through your business and you might not ever see them ever again and a lot of them seem to have absolutely no uh, remorse on uh, how they treat other folks and actually something that I uh, have learned recently pretty much because someone was just honest enough um, to admit to it uh, I see a lot of people treat other people terribly and their only reason is because the exact same thing had happened to them earlier so they they uh, they're getting revenge on another stranger um, for what a different stranger has done to them and this is really common this this anger the crying um, the uh, the upsetting nature of working with a huge amount of the public. It, uh, and I, I don't really think it's a whole lot different. Um, I talked to a guy that worked in uh, one of the campgrounds at the coast I go to, and he pretty much expressed the exact same thing. Like he said, I thought I was going to get a job um, in a campground and it was going to be great, but instead, uh, what my job turns out more to be is uh, management of people. Are people who, uh, management of people who can't manage themselves, um, and like yeah, you know, there's no reason to. You know, they're they're camping, they're far away from home. That's the classic uh, scenario of like if no one, if no one, what would you do if no one found out about it? You know, like the whole like, would you commit a crime if you knew for sure no one would find out about it? Um, but what if no one is everyone around you and you just don't know anybody? And you don't even care to know everybody, and your chances, maybe even of coming back there, um, are so slim uh, that you have like no investment in like you know, leaving behind any kind of uh, of sense of goodwill. As a matter of fact, I, I was in a place where someone came, uh, caused a lot of damage, uh, did all sorts of uh, terrible things, uh, showed no remorse or uh, sorry, uh, or, or, or didn't express any kind of sense of sorry about what they'd done to other people. Um, but then decided they wanted to come back later and when they were recognized and said hey well, what in the world are you doing back here after all the terrible things you did they pretty much just said oh I'm not I'm not the person you're thinking of um, like in, in such in a society where like you don't you don't know your neighbor uh, you don't know these people driving by you don't recognize these people on the sidewalk um, one of them could just flat out tell you like no you've you've never seen me before it wasn't the first time I've heard someone try to say that, too. Um, and in some cases, especially in that case, actually, afterwards, like, you know, we said, no, no, you are the same person. Um, but a couple of people said that even though they were there when they did the things that they did, a couple of people said, I wasn't really sure that it was the same person. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, you're in a big society, and uh, it's, not, it's not designed uh, emotionally and socially for a whole lot of eye contact, for a whole lot of uh, um, personal interaction. It's like that uh, in a, a world without privacy, uh, closing your eyes is the most polite thing you could do. So, yeah, there you have it.